Welcome back, everybody. Last so anyway, on to your story. Yeah, so I was in the middle of the story. Uh, so yeah, some like some of the people who were coming into the theater, I'm like, this does not look kind of like the target demographic that come out to Th see. This was for silent voice in the theaters, by the way, just yes. in case people are jumping in at part four. What? I don't know why you would, but it, you are. Yes, I was. I went yes. and saw a silent voice in the theaters. And so like all these people, the people who are starting to trickle in and I'm like, uh, these don't look like the kind of people who'd be here to so, see so an anime give movie. us an example of like the demographic that you think should be there and who is coming in like what I expect with an anime movie like this is mostly the young adult crowd like my age maybe a little older so 20s 20s to yeah. early 30s and you know but then I see like oh parents with a really young kid come in and I'm like did I wandered into Coco or something <laughs> and, I'm, and then like right before the movie starts I'm like like a few seats down from me a much older gentleman sits down i don't yeah. know probably like 50s very bit like i don't know 50s or something okay and i'm like uh i think i'm in the broad movie okay but, but i wasn't i was in the right theater <laughs> thank goodness so i could tell because it just instantly jumped into starting with you know the dolby digital logos it didn't have any trailers or anything you know that that guy in his 50s or 60s was probably just a very dedicated anime fan either right dedicated well, i'm guessing either dedicated fan or he was there with his son because i know a younger a younger person came and sat with him yeah probably. right as the movie because uh, a lot of people are showing up kind of late which they always do with at these screenings i'm guessing because people are just rushing to get over from work and stuff yeah and it's funny too because uh I actually forgot to tell you this, and this is this is an appropriate place to tell it. But uh, one of the things that actually was going to hold us up was that the I wasn't going to be able to do the podcast last Friday because of a podcast summit that was going to be happening locally. And mm -hmm. it was going to have a lot of good education and, and things like that on on podcasting. And just I think it was like, what, a week before this, uh, it got announced to June. Yeah. And we were actually talking about like maybe doing a live podcast there and you kind of went F it. I'm done because they keep changing the dates. And I'm but here's the funny them. part is, yeah, um, it's kind of Romney's fault oh. that the date changed. Really? Yes, I'm not kidding. So uh, it's not Romney's, Romney's fault. No, hold on. Hold on. Let me tell. <laughs> um, so Ro it turns out that uh, Romney's wedding had a, had a, a reason for it or had something to do with it. Because the guy who was getting married to his sister, yeah, is one of the organizers for that podcast summit. Oh, what a <laughs> so he literally called it because he was getting married. Oh, day. what a weird coincidence! So, uh, <laughs> and the funniest thing is, like, he he actually he pulled Romney aside. He's like, "I know you do podcasting. Uh, do you do podcast? Like, is your podcast on the Facebook group that that you guys follow?" He's like, "No, but but the host of it is." And he's like, "What's the name?" And he, he tells him my name. He's like, I know that name. I've seen it before. And, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm just curious. Who is it? And I'd seen him maybe like once or twice on the Facebook thread. I think I actually met him. And uh, it was just like, really? OK, so that's why I got moved to June. <laughs> wow. So uh, small world. Does that change your mind on doing a live podcast now? <laughs> Again, if if they don't, I'm still waiting for them to change the date again because they've already pushed it back twice. Yeah, but we're at least going to try because uh, you can do an application for it now. And he actually did strongly encourage us to do it, um, cause, which tells me that his his new brother in law will probably push the, the paperwork through a little bit. Oh, geez. Random pockets of teleportation. <laughs> Teleport. What the hell? And uh, <laughs> I can already tell you, you need to crop a little bit better. OK, there you go. Uh you guys don't want to see Alex's secret Again, documents. Again, it wasn't really Romney's fault. It was his sister's fault. <laughs> yes, yes, it was technically his sister's fault. But uh, I love the fact that he sent it out to me. He's like, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm kind of responsible for your podcast. So I'm getting canceled. I'm like, what? <laughs> and then he explains the story to him. And I'm like, what is the odds of that hey, actually happening? You're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? Uh, I'm wearing you're a, a skirt. Girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think she is wearing shorts. No, it's a skirt or on on the model. Andrea, pull up the uh, pull up leaf green art and see if. Uh, well, why don't we oh, look? No, no. Let's let's use the proper word. Research, research it. <laughs> That's the this is the Dragon Shadow research device. I'm just saying that now so that because everybody's going to sit there and go, you guys are just looking at porn. Of course we are. Because that's what Danny did, does. <laughs> that's what the internet is for. Didn't you hear the song? The internet is for porn. 
Well, the internet's for a lot of other things aside from that. Spe specifically, if you went to Twitter when it started out, it was for uh, looking at everybody's ugly fast food lunch. <laughs> Because that makes you hungry, right? Oh, jeez, man, you are a crit magnet. It's good to see that some things have never changed. <laughs> that was close. Yes, Pikachu, it was. You, you did it. You came through, Rechan. You came through. It would be so funny if you got poisoned. <laughs> All of a sudden, Rechan! Just wait, it happens later. Not, <laughs> not, it does. Not in this part. Yeah, it's had problems with cropping. Uh, not in this part, but much, much later on in the in this uh, mm -hmm. series. I I hang in there just by the skin of my teeth, but of course I get poisoned and of course I faint. <laughs> exactly. But do you white out afterwards? No. Okay. Because we're going to have a joke in, in Emerald later on about that. It's like character art or something. Yeah, just do a Google Images search for it. I'm, I can guarantee she's in a skirt because most of them are aside from actually was the Gen 2 girl in a skirt. I don't remember. OK, Adam, put the put this there on the go. screen. Put her on the screen. OK, so uh, um, uh, yeah, it is a skirt. We need to make a note for it then. So she's got uh, a skirt. Give me, give me the give me the research tool for a second. You're going to have to cover for me, Alex. You want me to make a note? <laughs> I can do it. All right. So Radata is paralyzed. Uh, where's Radata cannot move. Damn it. There we go. Stupid I, I, Apple devices. OK, so D. I should really have this ready and prepped and good to go, so. Damn you, Ratatad, your stupid quick Four. attacks. Uh, six. Add. Female. Character art. Leaf green. Uh, trainer art. Because this is how dedicated we are to you guys now. We actually dun, add in dun, notes. Because we're awesome like that, right? Yes. Exactly. Need a round monkey. So, so yeah, the, the Gen 1 female trainer has a skirt. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to look up um, Gen 2 female trainer. I know there's one in there that doesn't have one. So we're, we're doing appropriate research here well, by think, looking up 10 year old girls. I think Hel no, Gen 2 was it the last time she's they're not all 10. I think Hilda in black and white uh, board or jean little je denim shorts. So Gen 2 is in biker shorts, biker shorts. So that that changes uh, the Gen 3 trainer is May. So we know that she wears shorts. Gen 4, I think, is based off of Dawn. So, yeah. And then Gen 5. I think that would be based off the little girl, isn't it? Nope, but skirt. Again, skirt. Make sure to put all these on screen. I, I will try. At some point. Oh, wait, I, I I'm the one no who's editing. Oh, actually, the one you're the one who's editing. Yeah, so I'm the one who's editing. I'm just going to email you the details. So. <laughs> so I just realized I'm the one who edits. Gen these. 6 female trainer. That, that's based off of what's her name? Serena? Serena. Is that her name? I think so. You're the one who's watching X and Y, not me. Well, I wasn't. I'm on. I'm on Sun and Moon right now. Sun yeah, but what's the, the Gen 6 girl's name? I'm pretty the sure one that has Serena. the crush on Ash. Well, that would be Serena. Th yeah. There you go. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. That's correctly pronounced Usagi. No, <laughs> wrong character, guys. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to look at the Gen 7 female trainer. Nope, she has shorts. So she's the second one. That doesn't have a skirt. How progressive of you. <laughs> How progressive, Pokemon. Metapod. I'm finding a character. I'm just going to email you all the links and, and all that, and yeah. then you can you could figure this freaking thing out. It's so there you go. We've we've done our female trainer research. Just don't don't do any misty research on Google Images. You will regret it. We we'll all not. regret it. As long as you have the You'll be fine if you have the safe, if you have the parent filter on. Don. Do you think I have the parent filter on? I would assume you would. 
I would hope, but no. The safe search, I mean. No, I have to turn safe search off because sometimes you can't find the images you want. Not those kinds of images, people. <laughs> but like for the rest of the evil ones, I had to turn the parent off. Done like dinner. And of course, the first thing that comes up in, an, in a Misty search for that is Misty, but she's 300 pounds. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are the weird, the weird. Oh, hi, Asuka. We're going to kick your ass again. Pardon my French. <laughs> she's Last Robin. Oh, oh, OK. I'm sorry, Last Robin, but you're in the you're in the improper uniform. We need to go save Gotham. <laughs> Bye. There we go. So, so we're face, facing off against Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. The other most popular Pokemon. Well, yeah, because she was there. unlockable in Smash Brothers, the original. The original, but now that that's that line's been blurred. Actually, I think there's a, like an episode or something in. I'm Sun trying to think. Did, did she show up in the Wii U version? I don't think she did. I have no clue. In Sun and Moon, the anime series, uh, Jigglypuff shows up again. <laughs> the one with the marker? Yes, the one with the marker. <laughs> and yet her animation looks worse than it did before. <laughs> yeah. What the hell, OLM? I, I, I'm not letting this go because everything that anybody sends me, I can't even believe I'm saying this. They managed to make Liz Misty look bad. Yeah, I and don't... that's a hard thing to do. Yeah, because they changed the whole animation style of Sun and Moon. Like, Ash looks <sighs> derpy. She does. Misty yeah. looks... Misty doesn't look as derpy, but she's got other problems I've, going for I've her. I've never actually seen Misty in... Oh, Andrea, if you'll please. Yeah. Pull up. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Pull Research up, pull up the, Misty yeah. from Gen 7. <laughs> there are a couple of, of shots that have been shown to me where I, I swear, like, Masami Obari drew her. <laughs> because, like, she's got the... Are we talking about the anime or the... The yeah, anime. Gen, the Sun and Moon anime. Sun there there are a couple of points where it looks like her shorts are giving her a serious wedgie. <laughs> like, guys, pants can only go up so far. That's it? I'm sorry that you were disappointed, Last Robin. We didn't mean for that to happen. This is wonderful. We're, we're doing all of this wonderful research and we'll probably have to put that on screen too, Alex. So yep. <laughs> keep that in mind around the 12 minute mark. I'll be listening to it, so I'll find it anyway. When yes, you will. It. You make it sound like I don't listen. I don't think you do. <laughs> I, I do, but unfortunately, by the time I Here get you to go. it, Here's I'm still exactly. So that's one image. Okay. So that's her in a bikini. She's very round. Oh gosh, I gotta get back into the show. I need, I need to find the previous image, but there's actually one that, that like looks like she's getting the most thunderous of wedgies. <laughs> um, I'm trying to even remember what, what Brock looks like. I think Brock looked kind of derpy too. No, oh, Lily. Do they so even cute. have like a female trainer accompanying Ash in, in Sun and Moon? Yeah, they have Lily, don't they? I don't know. Yeah, I don't watch. Lily. Oh, hi, Mountain Moon. By the way, we're still on a Pokemon journey, Alex. Yeah. We probably should talk about this journey. Well, we're talking about Pokemon, at least. Uh, is oh, this... is it just me? Or, oh, there's or... Brock. His there hair is a lot more spiky. <laughs> yeah, still derpy. It's still His derpy. hair is very DBZ. I found TM09. I'm sorry, but even Chris, Chris Sabat would bitch slap you for that. <laughs> Why? Toei His hair doesn't look like DBZ. Why not? It looks Toei worse than that. It's not like Toei makes much better animation. Oh, I said it. Just... Yes, actually, they do. It just took three episodes for that to get fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Toei's stuff is always low budget. Is that Gary from Son of that, That's um, supposed to be, I think, the Gary from Leaf Green. Well, I'm just saying. Okay, we gotta stop doing the image searches, or otherwise we're gonna overload Alex. <laughs> and Alex is gonna have so much work, he's, he, and he's gonna come over here the next time. He's like, "Fuck all of you! I don't want to put images in this anymore." <laughs> it's like now you know how I feel when we have to do a sneak peek. <laughs> Team Rocket looks weird. On <laughs> I need to see Team Rocket. What do they look? This? I love the fact that this I'm, is gonna be Alex editing this not me I don't watch the anime anymore so I don't know what no, everything no, no, I'm looks saying like. like you have to add in all the images because yeah. I'm not doing it at least not for this one 
It's fine. I'll give you plenty of work to do when you when when we start re recording. Uh, oh, good. Emeralds. Then I'm going to be quiet during my parts because I'm just going to be writing the entire time. Like, OK, add this and then add this and then it is. Do, 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 do. Go reach on. Kakuna. Kakuna. I don't remember what a Kakuna sounds like, so I don't either. Plus, they changed the. Oh, changed it, it was like because they didn't make sounds. They had to be all detached. Team Rocket's rocking. Well, speaking of Team Rocket, we're going to we're gonna, make it double. I'm saying we're going to encounter rockets here so there, in Mount Moon. There you Moon. go. That's that's uh, Gen 17 rocket. Are you yeah. sure? Yes. Yeah, it looks sun and moony. <laughs> yeah, because it's got derpy animation to it. I'm sorry. I keep stepping away from the mic. I'm trying to show Andrea like, yeah, that's the derpy Jesse and James. Dirty. You know, the characters that should have been gotten rid of years ago. Yes, they should. They haven't done anything worthwhile. Except probably in black and white. That was the most they done. Oh, good. Then they spent like how many continents where they did nothing? <laughs> Seriously, what is the point of having those characters now? Yeah, they, they don't even their arcs are done. They've they've done everything they could possibly do with them. Why are they still in there? Aside from getting blasted off again, ding. Yeah, I feel the same. Well, except for in Sun and Moon, they get always carried off by a Pokemon all the time. Now, <laughs> I don't oh, care. Finally, That's well, still so the same thing. They finally changed up the formula. Last yeah. Iris. Clefairy. But is that really a change to the formula? They're flying off again. They're not flying off. They're being carried away. Yeah. We got carried off again. <laughs> That's not changing it up. It's, it's a little bit. At this bit. point, you might as well fulfill the fan theories and just let them get married. <laughs> we already all know that Jesse wears the pants in this relationship. <laughs> Concerned J James loves to cross-dress a lot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, sad Pikachu. By the way, can I... Can Encore! I just, Encore! Can I... Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um... So you guys actually get to hear this first. I actually got my my uh, one of my first fan requests for a review, and it w and it was of Detective Pikachu. What was it? It was Detective Pikachu. They want me to do it. You just said it wasn't Detective Pikachu. No, no, no it was. Oh, uh, sorry, okay. I, I said it was Detective Pikachu. Okay. And, and the main reason that I got asked for it was because they wanted Detective Pikachu accent throughout all of it. Aldo's going to be so mad at <laughs> oh, me. Oh, Lord, don't do that. I, I don't do I, it. I will the... probably appease them for like the first minute. Yeah, do and it then, for then the first analyze. Do it like at the start, but don't do it for the whole video. But I'm not, a, I'm not going into a visuals like this. It would be very difficult to actually say them. Even I have well, you say Aldo will get mad at you? Yes. Yeah. He, well, ha he hates the, detec the Detective Pikachu voice. Well, no offense, but when's the last time you talked to him? Uh, mm. It was actually not too long ago. Oh, really? So He actually is still around? Yes, he is. Uh, he's just very busy these days. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay. I bumped into him at Symphony of the Goddess. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if he was going to go. I didn't know if he, either he or Romney was going to go to that. I didn't see Romney, but I did see Aldo. Yay. And did you have a conversation? Uh, no, I just said hello. Oh, OK. Good to know. Because we were both waiting in line for the gift shop and <laughs> it was a very long line. See, the problem is, is that Romney ha or uh, Aldo has to maintain like a nine to five. So yeah. at that point, like he so, doesn't have too much time in the day to be able much to do much. Time. Makes sense. This is life. Yeah. We can't all be the Paul. We barely make it work. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we can't all be rolling in the YouTube does. No, no, we can't. And speak. Oh, jeez. I, I wish you hadn't said that because that, that just brought Logan Paul back to my brain. <laughs> <sighs> His hiatus is over, Alex. Yep. Probably should have stayed away for a little longer, Paul. Yeah. But I'm already talking to people on Twitter. I'm like, I give them a month. I give him a month before he does something else stupid. Yeah. Although under Detective Pikachu accent, come on, even I had the restraint to not do the whole 90s kid awesome voice <laughs> when I did Bodacious Dude, I would Space gladly. <laughs> for, for me, the 90s kid voice doesn't take that much. Dude, it doesn't take that much in my voice, but Detective Pikachu does. Actually, I didn't do the voice. I just put it in a clip. <laughs> so what am I talking about? 
Although I did. Did you ever get? Did you ever get a B from Linkara about that? No. Nobody's okay. ever told. Nobody's ever told me off about it. But you never. Did you ever talk to him about it? No. Okay. <laughs> It's not like it, you know, it's not like I uploaded a whole episode. I just borrowed no. a clip. You just borrowed a clip. I, I I don't see a reason why he'd have a problem, but <laughs> Ooh, quick attack, especially since he actually had to announce like he. So uh, did you did you see his uh, state of the wall at the beginning of the year? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. He basically said, screw it. I'm done. I'm done looking for other video services. It's a YouTuber bust because he was actually trying to get Vidme to work and then Vidme oh, yeah. shut down. Oh, you know, he, was, he tried to get so many other things to work, he, especially for like history of power injuries. Oh, where, you know what? I think I did see it. Actually, yeah, because I do remember him talking about. The so he finally said, screw it. I'm, I'm just adopting YouTube permanently. I'm not even going to try and, and fix all or I'm going to fix all the videos and I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. OK, that's it. We'll see you guys for part part five, where we continue venturing into Mount Moon or Mount Zubat. One of the two Mount Zubat. <laughs> it's very appropriate.